road to recovery, gave an update on his condition on Wednesday, March 3rd, amid his extended hospital and while visiting a COVID-19 vaccination center in Croydon, South London, the Duchess of Cornwall, 73, revealed that her father-in-law, 99, is slightly improving but that his treatment, she added, we keep our fingers crossed. Philip was admitted to King Edward VII's hospital in London on February 16 as a precautionary measure since he was feeling unwell. The following week, Buckingham Palace announced that he was expected to stay put for several more days since he is receiving medical attention for it. On Monday, March 1, the palace confirmed to Us Weekly that Philip was transferred to St. Bartholomew's Hospital. Doctors will continue to treat him for an infection as well as undertake testing and observation for a pre-existing heart condition. The, the Duke remains comfortable and is responding to treatment but is expected to remain in hospital until at least the end of the week. The Duke of Edinburgh's grandson, recently addressed the health matter while visiting a coronavirus vaccination center in Norfolk. He's okay. They're keeping an eye on him, he shared with reporters last month. Philip has been married to since 19. The longtime couple are the parents of, and amid her husband's health battle. An insider told us that the 94-year-old monarch has been able to count on her love. It's a lot to take on. But as usual, Elizabeth is handling the stress and sadness with great dignity. The insiders and Andari rallying around Elizabeth, even who has just given birth is in particular, is making a real effort to step up. Elizabeth is the first to admit that he has been her pillar of st Philip retired from royal duties in 2017, making his final appearance as a working royal that July at the Duke of Edinburgh's ceremony in Scotland. The month before, he was briefly hospitalized at King Edward VII's hospital for an infection that stemmed from a pre-existing condition. He then stayed at King Edward for several days in 2018 for a hip replacement. The royal later spent four days at the same medical facility in December 2019 as a precautionary. Along with the Queen, he was administered a COVID-19 vaccination.